Well, hello again, and welcome to the VK60S Fun with Amateur Radio channel, putting the fun back into Amateur Radio. Now, I've uh, put the voltage doubler board into the amplifier. Uh, it's, actually, uh, it's actually on at the moment. Now, you see those, um, those resistors across the capacitors there are side by side, and not one above the other, so that uh, as they dissipate heat, the one below doesn't heat the one above, if you see what I mean. Now, uh, the HT line, as you can see, there is just hanging in mid-air, so there is no HT going through to the PA compartment. It's just the power supply, and I'm just going to run the power supply up and see what sort of voltage it produces. Now, you may recall that um, I was a little concerned about the offload voltage of the voltage doubler, because I've never done this before, this voltage doubling business, and I'd heard that it can get quite high. Now, the 50k stiffening resistors uh, that I wanted haven't, uh, haven't arrived, so I've used the ones that I've got with the capacitors. Now, these are two 220k's in parallel, so it's 110k across each capacitor. So that might not be enough to bring it down. So, first of all, uh, it is on at the moment. Um, so, first of all, Let's see if I can show you the mains voltage. Now the... Uh, if you've got anything to do with electrical safety, you might want to look away now. Now that's the mains to the fans and heater supply. Okay, which is why you can hear the fan running in the background. The heater to the valve is on. It's on the 250 volt AC range. You can see it's about 240 volts. Now this is the AC going into the high volt power supply. Get that in there. There we go. And the other choppy block, which goes to a very of course. So I'm putting in there, and if you can see that, it's about 175 volts AC. About 175 volts AC. And if I look at the high volts, with my high volts probe, note my other hand is well away from the cabinet, I'm holding the camera. Uh, this is a times 1000 probe. Put that on the HT rail there. If you can see that, can you? So that's 4000. 120 volts. 4.12 times 1,000. That's 4,120 volts. And that's just with the uh, with 175 volts AC going into it. So I'm a little concerned because my uh, remember the uh, the rated maximum voltage across that capacitor stack is 5,400 volts. Uh, I don't want these capacitors to turn out like the last ones did, you know, with the uh, top top all bulging out and squirting stuff out all over the place. Um, now one thing you might have noticed is that the, uh, I won't put my finger in there at the moment, but the chopping board that all the capacitors is uh, mounted on isn't quite straight as the other one was, and that's because it's plastic and there's a bit of a warp in it, so uh, what I'll probably do is I'll just uh, sort of prop it prop it out so that it's straight and give it a bit of a blow with the heat gun. If that doesn't work, then I'll screw a prop in place just to, just to hold that straight, just so it looks nice for me. So there we go. Um, now, uh, I'm going to vary it up a little bit more. Because I'm listening for any strange noises. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so now we've got 200 volts AC, just a whisker under 200 volts AC, going into the uh, HT transformer over there. And 4,600 volts across the capacitor stack. 4,590, you know, it's just, just on the edge there. 
4,600 volts. So that's... Oh, there's VK6 car up in the background now because I haven't turned the repeater off. That's the, uh, the fella that loaned me this uh, rather nice Variac that I'm using here to wind up the, uh, the AC volts on the HT. So, I'll just turn that down a little bit. Just to, I think I'll just let this capacitor stack run. There we go. I'll just let it run at a bit over 4,000 volts. Yeah, 4,020, 4,030 volts. Just to let, let it get used to the idea that it's going to have to work for a living. Um, while I wonder about what I'm going to do about that. Because, you know, 4,600 volts with, 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 uh, with, 200, uh, with 200 volts AC going into it. You know, it's going to be, uh, it's probably going to be, and yeah, what, so it's 200, so 250, that's going to be 25%, so it's going to be about 20% higher than that, isn't it? Or is it too early on a Saturday for my math to be working? But uh, anyway, the bottom line is, I think, if I put 240 volts into this, it's going to exceed the HT rating of the, uh, across the, <laughs> across the capacitor stack. And, uh, it's going to be um, uh, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare actually because it's it's probably going to be too high a voltage to apply to the valve. You know, with um, although it was sagged down a bit under load, I've got no idea how much by yet because I haven't, as I say, I've got the HT for the DA compartment dis disconnected at the moment. But I think what I'll try and do is I'll just try and stiffen that up a bit with some uh, high wattage resistors. Just <coughs> excuse me, I can't shake my tongue probably this morning for some reason. I think it's because I've been fiddling around with a hole in my tooth. Um, <coughs> well, I hope that's what it is, anyway. Um, so, uh, I'll get some, I'll get some high wattage resistors and just put them across the HT line just to see if I can stiffen that up a bit so that it won't go quite so high with no load on it. I really want it to be not much more than four and a half thousand volts. I honestly didn't think it would get as high as it's going. I mean, if I if I turn that Variac up to 240 volts in, I mean, the voltage on the stack is going to be over 5,000 volts. Um, and uh, I think those capacitors will probably, you know, if I've got 5,400 volt, um, work, well, maximum voltage across a capacitor stack, and you divide that by 12, that's how, that's how much is across each capacitor, of course. It's really close to the, uh, the operating limits of the capacitors. So, you know, with 5,000 odd volts on there, so uh, you know, 400 divided by 12, <coughs> it's only going to be what? Less than, uh, it's going to be 30 odd volts under the 450 volt rating on each capacitor. So, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think I'll, I think I'll post this video while uh, I have a cup of coffee. While I think what I'm going to do about that. In the meantime, I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn it down. I'm just going to let it let the power supply run at uh, I don't know, 3,600 volts, something like that, just to get it used to the idea of uh, sitting there with a few volts on it. I don't know how old these capacitors are, so I'll just give them a bit of a run with a um, you know, sort of reasonable voltage across them, but certainly nowhere near anything that might be called excessive. Anyway, if I can stiffen this up so that it works, uh, regardless actually, I'll, I'll put the Variac uh, up, <coughs> I'll connect the HT to the PA, and then I'll use the Variac to adjust it to, I don't know, about 4,000 volts and see what sort of power I get out of it. Alright, well, uh, as always, thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.